Hey guys, I figured I'd get back on here again, and uh, I got some bit of some surprises going on. Uh, if you haven't noticed the mask, um, <clears throat> basically what happened was I went to my local marine exchange, and uh, they really dicked my hair up, like, really bad. So, instead of looking like an Auschwitz victim, uh, I figure I'll just go ahead and make the video, but... I look ridiculous. I figure I'd channel my inner Slav and, you know, since I'm talking about a high quality firearm, mainly a Kalashnikov variant, uh, I'd go ahead and wear a ski mask like your typical Slav. So, or at least the stereotypical Slav. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, what we have here, my G kit finally came in uh, after about 30 two to 35 days I think by the time uh, there was a situation at the FFL where their internet had gone down and they couldn't run the the next check and it was just a big mess and I had to drive like anyway uh, but yeah so I finally got it in uh, I'm really happy with it I have some footage I didn't get to shoot it a lot but what I did get to shoot it never an issue not a single problem it, it shot accurately uh, from the distance in which I was shooting it from which is again my the range that I use is only 25 yards but you know from what I've been told uh, especially about that Polish PKMS that I had uh, the guy that owns it now took it out to 300 yards and it shot accurately as well uh, I have no need to push a gun that far yet. Uh, one thing that I do know about this gun, uh, in the footage that I have, uh, I'm shooting it off my Caldwell here, and I'm having to push the dong into the, the rest, and it doesn't want to stay. And it's just a, it, it really was aggravating because I was trying to shoot accurately and it pushes, pushes me over to one side and it's really a pain. But I was shooting open sights as well. Uh, switched over to, the, to my uh, primary arms 3X magnified optic with the ACSS reticle. And it, of course I didn't have enough time. They only gave us, I think it was, it was close to closing time if I remember correctly. But... I started to zero in that scope for this rifle because that's what I wanted for it. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the previous video about this kit, um, this kit is a Romanian G or Guardia kit. Um, it came basically with the whole front end of the rifle already complete. Um, and then it had chop bits at the end uh i'll probably add in the footage that i have of it as parts and then you know obviously scroll roll in the uh, the footage of it actually being fired uh that being said it's just a romanian coal hair forge chrome line barrel uh from the factory this is the original barrel that came if i remember correctly it's 19 83 so this rifle originally was a real working select fire gun up until the point that they I think they clipped the disconnector on it or or whatever they did to make these for their uh, civilian guards ie the the G uh, designation and uh, it's made before I was born <laughs> so anyway uh, Molly resin coating fuller rear sight mod uh, they went ahead and installed a rail which is not normal for a G kit I know it's not factory original but I needed a scope rail on this gun because of my personal issues and sight problems um, but ALG AKT uh, I'm using Yugo mags these days uh, seems to function flawlessly they have their own uh, retainer plate that they're using these days. 
but uh, the finish is really nice, very smooth. Uh, the action is very light and crisp. Not, and I, I've noticed this, and a friend of mine was was playing with it and could not get that thing to hang up. Could not, and it would just frustrate the shit out of him because he could not get it to stick at all. So I'm thinking, well, that's the difference between a, a you know, an RD rifle and a Wasser, you know. So anyway. Uh, it's built on a Childers. If I remember correctly, is that CG1 or CG3? CG3 receiver, 762 by 39. Um, I, I can't be any happier with it, you know. It's got their, their crest on the back of it, which has always been an interesting point for me. Because I knew they couldn't put it up here, so I thought, well, where are they going to put it? Because typically they engrave their rifles in one way or, or etch their rifles one way or another. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to run this by you guys and ramble a little bit as I typically do. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day and I, I'll see you guys around. Hopefully I can punch out some more uh, some more videos and before I go to California, there should be more videos for that. Uh, but you guys take care and I'll see you again.